What's going on guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to a daily dose of transfer gossip. And today is going to be Sunday the 6th of January and we have got the confirmed deals to go through as well as the potential rumours. So just before we get started, if you enjoy the video and enjoy transfers, make sure to show your support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome, greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more and press the bell notifications next to it so you never miss an upload. My current schedule every single day at 8am is a brand new transfer video. And finally, in the comment section below, who do you think is going to win the Champions League this year? Right, let's jump into the very first player today then, and it's going to be Ross McCormack making a move to Motherwell from Aston Villa on loan for the rest of the season. He's gone to the SPL team after spending the first part of this season, or maybe in the last year, playing in Australia. A centre-back called Manuel da Costa has joined Al Itihad in the Saudi Pro League, that's from Istanbul, Bazakshir here in Turkey, that's a 5 million euro fee for him. And I'm pretty sure it's the same player back on like FIFA 12, he had a really good silver in form card. Another transfer in the SPL today is going to be Oliver Burke, going to Celtic from West Brom, and again it's a loan deal. Since leaving Nottingham Forest a couple of years ago to go to the Bundesliga um, for like a 10 million pound plus fee to Leipzig, it hasn't really gone to plan for him. So he'll be hoping now to get first team football with Celtic to be a starter there and kick off his career yet again. Next up we have got Reese Oxford, a player that was on loan to the Bundesliga for last season from January and uh, now according to Daily Mirror, Oxford will reject a return or a permanent January switch to Borussia Mönchengladbach and that's so he can join Arsenal in the summer. Because of how this article is written, I thought it'd be a free transfer in the summer transfer window, like you talk to Arsenal now and sign a pre-contract agreement, but that's not the case, his contract runs until 2021. And now we have got three confirmed deals, the very first player is going to be Jason Punchin going to Huddersfield Town. It's from Crystal Palace on loan for the rest of the campaign, and there's no option to buy there if I'm correct. He's followed by two for Stoke City. Technically, both were playing for him already this season on loan, uh, but they've now decided to make a permanent basis. First one is Benicophobe, uh, joining from Wolverhampton Wanderers on a permanent basis for £12 million fee. And Woods, joining them from Brentford for £7 mil. Sky Sports and many different other outlets are saying Wolves are close to agreeing a deal to sign Tammy Abraham on loan from Chelsea. Now Sky is saying a loan deal, but other places are suggesting a permanent deal for £18 million, uh, we'll have to wait and see, or maybe it could be a loan deal and obligation to buy. And looking at his goal to game ratio for Aston Villa in the first part of the season in the Championship, 20 matches in the league, 16 goals, 1 assist, a goal every 107 minutes. And now we have got an article from The Independent, but they're actually quoting some articles from France and uh, also from Spain. They said Manchester City have missed out on signing 19 year old centre back from Toulouse uh, called Jean Claire Todibo. He's chosen to join Barcelona instead. I personally have never seen him play, but apparently has got massive potential and great ability already, uh, hence why he's into Man City and the likes of Barca. And for a fee, it doesn't mention one. And now we have a player potentially leaving Barca according to Sky Italia. They sent Arsenal a closer deal for Barca midfielder Denis Suarez. Roma and AC Milan are also interested and Unai Emery knows Suarez from his time at Sevilla. And the Daily Mail sent Arsenal are discussing a move worth £20 million for the midfielder, although initially it'll be a loan with an option to buy in the summer. And we'll have to wait and see for this transfer because there were rumours a couple of days ago saying Unai Emery wanted to sign Keil Navas and then basically a day later he denied them rumours straight away. And now we have got two players in to move to Monaco. And it's according to Gianluca Di Marzio. He said Liga inside Monaco have reached agreements in principle with Chelsea midfielder Cesc Fabregas and free agent Pepe to join the club in the coming days. The 35 year old Portuguese defender had been pushed in Monaco's direction hard in the recent days by George Mendes. The former Besiktas and Real Madrid central defender had preferred a return uh, to Portugal for personal reasons and hours ago was on the verge of accepting an offer from former team FC Porto. And when I was doing the research on the notes for this video a couple of hours ago, pretty much everyone was saying Pepe was going back to Porto on a free transfer and uh, it should be announced very soon. But no, uh, Damasio at least saying he's had a change of heart basically and will now be going to Monaco instead. And as for Cesc Fabregas, he has got an agreement with the club already and is set to join after competing in his final game for Chelsea, which will be yesterday now, in the FA Cup against Nottingham Forest. Now you're probably thinking why are they signing old players like Fabregas, but in particular Pepe and Naldo, they're not really costing too much money if anything really, apart from like large contracts. But their current team right now, looking at their average age in their team, um, they have got 34 players, so like quite a big squad, but their average age is just 24.4 years old. 
And out of all the players that have registered to play in the league this season, so again, 34 players goes down to like, what, 25? Uh, the average age is now 23.85. And that literally makes them the youngest average age team in the whole of League One, um, just below Nice, who are also at 24 years old. And they're currently sat second to bottom on 13 points after 18 games. It's not looking good, but it's not impossible to get out of that situation. And putting it to even more perspective, you look at their squad list right now, and 13 players are currently 21 years old or younger. And putting it simply, they need more experienced players than a very young squad, and the likes of Pepe, Fabregas, and Naldo, it'll definitely bring that. And for FIFA Ultra Team purposes, it's quite good as well because they've got Super Siege, uh, Glick, Pepe, Naldo, Fabregas, Falcao, a lot of 83 rated plus players that are very cheap. And next up, according to Yahoo Sport France, and apparently this is actually very reliable um, because them in particular have got very good connections with May Benatti's camp and representatives. But they're saying today the player's preference from this transfer window is to move to either AC Milan or Arsenal. Both teams have got considerable interest in him, however his current club Juventus are refusing to let him go mid-season. And let's be real, right now for Arsenal, their defence really isn't a strong point for them. And bringing someone like Mane Benatia, a very experienced centre-back, very good centre-back, who wouldn't cost too much money, it seems like a no-brainer. Now, like I mentioned before, Juve aren't really willing to sell him in January, which makes sense unless they can get some kind of replacement for him. But if Arsenal put a decent bid in for him, or a good bid, Juventus would definitely consider it, in my opinion. And next up, according to Corre Dello Sport, they're saying Chelsea are ready to challenge Inter Milan for the signature of Cagliari's Nicolo Barella. That's for the summer transfer window, not now, and ready to offer £45 million for him. And a couple of episodes ago, he was into Arsenal and Manchester United. And next up, according to our first of the Daily Times, they're saying Brahim Diaz is on the verge of completing a transfer to Real Madrid for an initial fee of £15.5 million, which could rise to 22 mil with additional fees. Yes, we already knew about the £15 million fee, as I mentioned yesterday for the video, um, but the 22 mil is kind of like new information. But on top of that, City have got a 15% sell-on fee for Brahim Diaz unless he signs for Manchester United. If he does that, they'll receive 40% instead. And now we have got a huge one according to Gianluca Damasio, uh, Fabrizio Romano, and also Sky Italia. They're saying Diego Godin's contract with Atletico Madrid expires in the summer, and he's close to agreeing terms already with Inter Milan. Inter are working to sign the Uruguayan on a two-year contract with the option of a third, and in the coming weeks, he's expected to take his medical. And he could even sign his contract in a couple of weeks, so going to Inter this summer, it will be a free transfer. Now, as good as Godin is like a world-class centre-back, uh, quite a few Inter fans are actually quite upset about it, or somewhat annoyed, because they find it a bit unnecessary. And if you do look at the centre-backs they currently have in their team, they have got Miranda, who is 34, with 35 to start next season, so it makes sense to somewhat replace him. Um, but goes like, what, 32, 33? So not too much difference there. They have also got Skriniar and De Vrij, both very good centre-backs, being 23 and 26 years old. But then again, Godin could help massively for Skriniar's development, and even the same for De Vrij. And for Inter on FIFA Ultra Team, just like Monaco I mentioned before, they basically become like an SBC team because they've got Handanovic, one of the cheapest 88, Icardi, Perisic, Miranda, uh, Skriniar himself, De Vrij, and Godin. But that, guys, is going to be it for this video. So as always, if you enjoyed it and enjoyed transfers, make sure to show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome, greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel, press that subscribe button for more. I press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box. And current schedule every day at 8am UK time is a new transfer video. And finally, in the comment section below, what team do you think is going to win the Champions League this season? Let me know down below. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.